this is the valley area, and this is a closed valley. There's a couple different ways to do a closed valley, but at the bottom, we like to weave the valley. So you see these two rows that are weaved on top of each other at the bottom. And then it's cut. So we do, we make sure that there's no nails to about here. Uh, and that way you'll see we can lift these up. Um, you also want to take into consideration how steep this roof is and how high it is compared to this roof where you to make the determination whether you want to cut this side of the valley or have this side of the valley cut. So you can, we can switch the direction that this looks so we can have this over here. But the reason that we chose to do this over that is there's a big chimney in the way. So we don't really want, there's not a lot of water running down from this side of the roof. There's more water going to be running down here because we have this big chimney in the way. So there's going to be less water volume coming down this side of the roof. So we want to we want to put this underneath and this over because um, water will try to roll in here and it will roll out but we want the least amount of water to roll in here so like the, this side was steeper than this side we would have changed the way the direction we cut this like because we want we want the flatter side um, to roll we want the flatter side to roll water over it um, as opposed to the steeper side if we had steep a lot of steepness here it would try to roll in here easier it would get in here quicker so we would flip the the way that we have this cut um, let's see and nailing we're nailing like way over here we don't want to have too many nails in here we've got an ice shield underneath this so um, it's okay but you know we don't we don't want to see any of those nails anywhere close to this valley area and we also want to make sure that on this side of the valley, we're at least sticking, uh, you know, 10 inches where these seams are from the valley. So we've got one all the way over here. This is the closest one that I can see. It steps back here, steps back here. We've got one here. One of the other important things in a valley to remember, if you're shingling or if you just uh, have a have a weird mystery leak in a valley is that we don't want nails in any of these seams where they meet. So you see how they meet? If I put a nail here, it's gonna leak. If I put a nail here, it's gonna leak. Um, and, and these, you know, the valley could look so nice. They could cut it straight. It might be set back right. But if you put a nail right here, this thing's done for. Um, even with ice shields underneath of it and everything, this roof would be destroyed in probably seven years. It's gonna start leaking in the valley. Nobody's gonna know what's going on. Roofer's gonna come up here and be like, it looks fine. And they're gonna put a bunch of caulking and stuff underneath these things, uh, not realizing that it's just a stupid nail in the wrong spot. Um, and so nail pattern, when you install these, is just as important as making it look nice and having these setbacks correct. I'll show you the down with the ice shield set up. So as you can see the valley has got the ice shield, a full sheet of ice shield running down the middle of it. You've got everything outlined in ice shield and in the middle of the roof you've got the roof runner paper.